Vanguard has been out for almost a month now and with that it has given us time to get over that honeymoon phase of the game and get a good grip on how the game plays and how good the game is and with season 1 just around the corner it's a good time to get the first review out before this major update. So starting off I haven't gotten around the campaign yet so I'm just going to skip over that but it's also a campaign. No one buys CODs for the campaign so I think we're good on that. Zombies though, zombies is absolutely terrible in this game. There is no round based map so all you have to do is this objective based game that's pretty much a worse outbreak mode but the only difference is that everything is on a multiplayer map and occasionally in a small version of Shinonuma. It's not great though. I'm not trying to play an escort mission or do a harvest mode for an hour on end with absolutely no story that's interesting. I'm trying to be on a fun map getting perks, training zombies and going crazy. Now of course this isn't a Treyarch zombie so I'm not expecting that but the problem here is that it is borderline a Treyarch zombies as half of it is Cold War assets ported over. For example the armor and salvage system or the pack punch machine that also doesn't have a camo by the way. All ported over from Cold War as Treyarch is working on zombies with sledgehammer for this game. So I kinda do expect that Treyarch feel with a touch of sledgehammer zombies yet I don't. I played zombies a couple of times and every time I got bored within 20 minutes and just leave or exfil but there's not really any reason to exfil as all you do is just kill a bunch of zombies then you hold square on the portal where the screen just fades to black, no animation or anything. It's just overall not great and the only benefit from playing zombies is doing the XP farm where you kill 35 zombies and restart. Other than that, there really is no reason for playing zombies. Multiplayer though is where this game excels, kinda. If you play Vanguard, it's obvious that Sledgehammer put all their eggs in the multiplayer basket and just hoped it worked, and it does for the most part, but still, it is an incredibly lackluster and just not ready. For the most part, the gunplay and gameplay is fun and I enjoy it, but other than that, it really falls off. Now thankfully, we do have more than two maps in this game, and most of them are alright and enjoyable. Don't get me wrong, some of them are absolutely awful and could just be deleted from the game and no one would care, looking at you Red Star and Eagle's Nest, but then there's also the challenges in the game which most people play for, at least me. I want to get that mastery camo and grind, but the problem is that half the camos in the game you can't get. For example, some camos you need a specific attachment to actually get the challenges done, but the problem is that that attachment doesn't exist, so you're kinda screwed. Or you have that annoying problem where when you get to the first challenge that requires specific attachments, one of the attachments you don't get into like 5 levels further so you just can't do those challenges and you're just sitting there bored as hell. Now if you are a little forgiving like me you can get past these main problems but the real downside comes with skill based matchmaking and the actual players. Having SBMM just ruins the game after a couple of matches by default which is annoying but thankfully it doesn't feel as strong as Cold War but let me tell you it is still there. Then you also have the players though and the way people play COD nowadays just ruins the game. Every single game you will have someone on both teams rocking a riot shield for the riot shield glitch and a shotgun just torching the enjoyability of the game. It does not care if it's like an incredibly big map on core or a small map on hardcore. Every single time there is someone with that riot shield and shotgun and it's really annoying. And if you play DOS House, almost everyone is rocking that combo which ruins that map which sucks because I really do like that map. Shipment is as bad, but it still has its problems, but other than that though, it would be nice just to have some other features on the game at launch, like a ranked mode, and I do understand that you have to let the pros figure out the GAs and everything, but still, the mode should be there on launch and you just work it out as time goes on. Instead of waiting several months for the mode to come out busted because League Play never I mean never comes out ready even with months of waiting. It's really just annoying because Halo is coming out with a ranked mode in beta for free but I also understand that COD is COD. I think Octane really summed this up perfectly in his tweet. And then last up, the last huge problem I have with this game is squad spawning. It's horrible and I've been saying this for months. I shouldn't spawn in front of an enemy and die immediately because my teammate is there and this is most apparent on shipment and it's a problem. And yes, I understand that it's shipment. The spawns are going to be chalked by default, but still, half the time I spawn in front of an enemy or I watch an enemy spawn in front of me and there are just so many better spots they can spawn people. Overall though, the game is fun and is the most fun I've had on the COD since BO4, but BO4 is still leagues more fun than Vanguard. There also hasn't been a major update since launch and it's been almost a month so most of the problems are still rampant which is awful and I understand that Activision really isn't having the most joyful of times right now but still there is a job to do for Sledgehammer. Yes I do think that Activision should be gutted from the inside and remodeled but Sledgehammer I'ma just need y'all to give me just an update fixing some of these big problems. 
Hopefully this big update though will come out sometime this week, but still, it's been a minute since anything big, and I'm in hope that this big update will help fix the game and make it better in a lot of ways. In the end though, I think that the game is fun. It just has a stupid amount of problems and is clearly not ready to be released. Now it is caught in Activision though, so the game was going to come out regardless of if it was finished or not, which I know, and for what we have, I can say that the game is more fun than Cold War and Modern Warfare, just the game is more broken and unready than Cold War and Modern Warfare. There are even bugs ported over from Modern Warfare, so it's clear that the game has its problems. Hopefully though, the game improves and gets better because, once again, like the past two CODs, the gold is there, you just have to keep mining a little bit more to get to it, and will it? Probably not, just like the past two CODs. Thankfully though, we do have Battlefield and Halo out, so they actually have to try a little bit more, which gives me hope, but at the end, who knows? If you did enjoy the video though, make sure not to leave without leaving a like and subscribing for more, but until next time, see ya.